Hey guys, FOMO Trader here. Going to be going over how to set up and customize the Fibonacci retracement tool in the Thinkorswim platform. If that's what you're here for, let's get to it. So the Thinkorswim platform comes with a preset Fibonacci retracement tool, which is only one direction. So in order to access it, open a chart and then come down here and click the icon next to the magnifying glass with the minus symbol. Then we're going to click the percent symbol, which is Fibonacci retracement. Then we are just going to simply draw it. And all this shows is retracement levels for a plotted low to high or high to low. So what we are going to do is we are going to customize the tool to show us both retracement and extension levels. So in order to do that, we're going to right click here and we're going to go to edit properties on this drawing tool. Then I am going to bring up my settings from my trading view video that I use personally on day to day with my trading. Um, we will not be able to load all these settings in Thinkorswim as the default Fibonacci retracement tool, excuse me, only supports 15 levels or curves. So we are just going to use the most important ones or the ones that I believe are the most important. So with that, we're gonna come in here and we're going to customize them. So we're going to start with zero as our first one. Then we're going to go negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.236, negative 0 0.382, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.618, negative 0 0.786, and then we're going to do negative 1. Now we're going to go to our positive side. So we're going to do 0 0.1. And we're going to 0 0.236 and then we need to add another curve. Then we've got 0 0.382, add another curve, 0 0.5, add another curve, 0 0.618, add another curve, 0 0.782, or excuse me, 7.86, add another curve, and positive 1. Now, in order for this to take effect, anytime we use this tool in the future, we need to save these new curves or levels as the defaults. So we come down here and click Save as Defaults, and that's going to save them as defaults. Now, if you'd like, you can go in here and you can customize the color for each level. I am not going to go over that in this video as you can do it on your own. You can also adjust the style of the lines and the width of the lines. But for time's sake, I'm just going to show you how to add the levels. And this is 0 to 100 and 0 to negative 100. Make sure you click Save as Default and then click OK. Now, as you can see, the tool itself has changed. So we're going to remove this drawing to test it. Then we're going to come back down here. We're going to go and select the Fibonacci retracement tool. And then we are going to draw this from a low to a high here. And if we zoom in, you can see that we're going 100 to 0 and 0 to negative 100. We have both levels on the same side. So we come up, we retrace back to the 50%, then we just straight up blow this thing out the water today on SPY. So if you found this video helpful, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Check out my other videos. Y'all have a good night and thanks for tuning in.